That's the thing that people really need to get is that these companies are not racing to provide a chatbot to users. And subsequently, it appears that every other major technology company now is investing godly amounts, ungodly amounts of money in competing in this AI race. And they're pursuing this thing called AGI, which we hear this word used a lot. Yes. What is what is AGI and how is that different from what I use at the moment on ChatGPT or Gemini. So that's the thing that people really need to get is that these companies are not racing to provide a chatbot to users. That's not what their goal is. If you look at the mission statement on OpenAI's website or all the websites, their mission is to be able to replace all forms of human economic labor in the economy, meaning an AI that can do all the cognitive labor, meaning labor of the mind, so that, that can be marketing, that can be text, that can be illustration, that can be video production, that can be code production. Everything that a person can do with their brain, these companies are racing to build that. That is artificial general intelligence, which is why there's a belief that if I get there first and can automate generalized intelligence, I can own the world economy because suddenly everything that a human can do that they would be paid to do in a job, the AI can do that better. And so if I'm a company, do I want to pay the human who has health care, might whistleblow, complains, you know, has to sleep, has sick days, has family issues? Or do I want to pay the AI that will work 24-7 at superhuman speed, doesn't complain, doesn't whistleblow, doesn't have to be paid for healthcare? There's the incentive for everyone to move to paying for AIs rather than paying humans. And so AGI, artificial general intelligence, is more transformative than any other kind of, of technology that we've ever had.